So in today's lesson, you are going to be looking at turning tell me sentences into show me sentences. And I'm going to talk you through what that means. So on the board, I've got a tell me sentence because it says, the girl felt excited as she gracefully flew above the majestic city. So tell me, Alana, how did she feel? She felt excited. Right, so the author has just said it. He's just told the reader, she felt excited. We're going to do something more clever than that. We're going to take that away and we're going to do some show me phrases that we could put there instead. So these are my three helpers. Can you show me that you are excited? Okay, so I have got eyes widened. Leo has got his eyes widened. Olive, Leo and Alana have all got their mouth ajar, which means it's wide open. Okay, what else is happening to you? What else shows me they're excited? Leo is holding, holding his face or his hands are clasping his face. Uh, what else have we got? Hands are raised in the air. So we've got raised arms or hands. Maybe their eyebrows shot up. So you could put their eyebrows <laughs> shot up. I'm getting in my jam. You're, you're doing your drumming. So you could be drumming with excitement or dancing with excitement. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Dancing with excitement, although <laughs> Right, I'm going to change this tell me sentence into a show me sentence now. And I'm also going to change the order of the sentence. And I'm going to put the subordinate clause that is at the end of this sentence at the beginning. So my subordinate clause is as she gracefully flew above the majestic city. So I'm going to put that first, so capital letter for the start. So as she gracefully flew above the majestic city, I need a comma now to show the end of my subordinate clause ready for my main clause. As she gracefully flew above the majestic city, so I'm not going to put the girl felt excited because that tells me I'm going to put a show me phrase. So as she gracefully flew above the majestic city, thinking about what my three children looked like when they were excited, I'm going to use her mouth was ajar. Oh, her mouth was ajar and her eyes widened. Okay, and then I could put a full stop or I might even put an exclamation mark there because that's showing me how excited she was. So it's changed from the girl felt excited as she gracefully flew above the majestic city to as she gracefully flew above the majestic city, her mouth was ajar and her eyes widened. Okay, the next emotion, next feeling is something my children might feel quite a, quite a lot because I'm their mother. It's scared. Show me you're scared. Hopefully I don't really make them feel like this. Okay, what are they show how are they showing me that they're scared? Their hand clasps over their mouth, hand clasps over her mouth. Um, similar to the excitement in that their eyes widened, but this time it's with fear rather than excitement, widened. Um, what else? Maybe their face went white. And they were 
frozen like a statue. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. I wonder if you could get somebody in your family to say a feeling and then you show what that looks like. So try with the three other feelings that I've given you today in your tell me sentences. Try and act out those feelings and then collect your show me phrases and then see if you can swap the tell me phrases. So the feeling, feeling of excitement or feeling of happiness into a show me phrase. What would that look like? Okay, good luck.